I'm serious though. It's update number three, right? I don't know. I'm th I, okay. Dan Hex Eleven here, guys. This is update number three. Because apparently, I'm just too lazy to go look. But here's a video for you anyway. Enjoy. Got my new ignition reluctor in. You can see it, and uh, there's the old one. Rusted and worn out. Got the new one in. Uh, cleaned off all the old head gasket material. I got my head gaskets. They came in the mail. These are all the top end gaskets, valve covers, and then there's the head gaskets. So, now you, it even came with manifold gaskets. But since we're going to get headers, probably not going to need those. I'm now using this thing right here valve holder. OEM valve spring compression compressor. Uh, I am changing the valve stem seals on them. I just pulled out the first valve, my intake valve. I already did all the exhaust valves, so now I'm doing the intake valves. And a little carbon buildup, but Nice, perfect, all the way around. But that's what I expect for a 30-year-old truck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what I've been doing is just cleaning them all up with the uh, brush and some carb choke cleaner, getting all the buildup off of them. Getting ready to take some steel wool and clean that part right there because it's kind of rough looking. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do all these, and then I'll show you the next head. This one, I gotta do it next. There we go, I gotta do it next. So yeah, it came with a whole bunch of things. Those are the ones for the next head. The old ones are actually made of plastic. Cheap. So, yeah. I'm gonna take all these off and do them real quick and I'll Got it all show done. them I got every single valve gasket put in. You can see them in there. So this head is done. I went over it with the drill, completely polished it so you can see it shine, cleaned out all the holes, cleaned all my valves off, got all the crap off of them when I took them off. And uh, let me show you the uh, part that looks really good, combustion chambers, valves are shiny. Everything is clean. I've got this head as possibly clean around it as I can get. But this stuff right here, right up in here is the bad spot. I'm gonna try and go over that with the drill again. So, these are my valve. I rented this from AutoZone. OEM valve spring compressor. Right here, works great. I'm gonna do this head tomorrow because it's dark out. But I just wanted to show you, this is a clean head, I just cleaned it, really shiny, this is a dirty head, you can see the, uh, the difference, yeah, major difference. I haven't taken the valves out yet, I just went over it with the uh, brush and some carbon choke cleaner, it looks amazing, it took all the carbon, carbon out of there, sorry. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and clean off the head, because it's nasty, but that's all tomorrow. And uh, if you look in the um, motor here, I got that on there, you already showed you. i got to go over the uh, head some more, and clean, out the clean off the pistons definitely with the drill. Uh, yeah, this one's the bad side. That's going to take a while. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I'm going to clean this out. And I'll clean that out so that's clean. Uh, I checked the uh, valve to make sure it still worked and it still moves. That's probably why I was losing power at higher RPMs. Because... There it goes. My curb, uh, what you call it, advanced when you speed up the suction. Yeah, I was losing power in the higher RPMs. I finally got that thing to loosen up. So, yeah, 
I'm going to come in here and just polish the motor with the drill, make it look really good. So, uh, yeah, we can close the hood. That's that thing. Focus on it. it says Sheriff's Department, Knox County. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably, I have no idea what these go to, these big round things. I know this has to go to some kind of EGR thing. Same as this one, this one. I think that goes to my uh, distributor, but I'm not taking that out. It doesn't leak. And I'd probably never get it back in the same way. So, yeah. My valve, valve cover, gaskets, rubber. Pretty awesome. So those definitely aren't going to leak. And I cleaned up the mating surface real good for the valve cover gasket on this head. Oh, it's gonna fall. There we go. Right there. There. Yeah. It's just really shiny. You can see it glimmering. You can see the reflection off the table on here. It's so shiny. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. So this head is ready to go. We have to have this head taken to the shop because of that bolt right there. It sticks out. I can't get it. It's stuck. Same with this head. There's one right over here. I tried drilling it out and using those things, but it was backwards bolt pullers, but <laughs> I can't find a thing to strong enough to do it with. So, yeah. Why was that in there? So yeah, I'm getting ready to take out all those valves tomorrow. So there's clean, dirty. That's what they look like now. That's what they look like before. So I found what one of the gaskets go to. This one goes to this thing right here. No idea what it does. It's something to do with uh, the uh, manifold. It goes right here. So, yeah. And then I found a gasket that goes here. That's what that goes to. I think. Hmm. I guess it didn't come with a gasket for that. I have no idea what this goes to. There's nowhere for it to go. Yeah, that's where that goes. It's just the holes are wrong. Hmm. Well, I can just modify it, drill a hole. Yeah. Weird. Huh. I was wondering what was down in there. So, yeah. And uh, there's my main vacuum for the brake booster. And all those little vacuum ports. So that's all I can find that this goes to all the gasket ports. No idea what this would go to. I know what this goes to. It's my water pump. Uh, distributor. Not a clue what that goes to. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just trying to find things that they go to. So, the only problem I'm having with this thing is the gasket is like completely rotted. Or rust welded itself to this thing you can see how it there's even it doesn't look too good there's good not good so I tested this it still works too yeah no idea what it does but it still works so I'm gonna work on it all this tomorrow so this is Danix11, guys. Leave a comment below if you got any suggestions on things. This is Danix11, guys. Leave a comment if you have any uh, suggestions on things I'm doing right or things I'm doing wrong. Because this is the first time I've ever done a complete gasket rebuild on a motor. And I really don't want to screw it up. Because this is going to be my truck I drive every day. 
daily driver. And I'm trying to do it all right, but you know. So, like this video if you like it, dislike if you hate it, and subscribe. Later, guys.